All right, what's up? This video is a little bit different than normal, so if you're here for an album review or my thoughts on a song, might want to go watch a different video, but this is about the scamming situation, about the Eminem leaks. Now, I'm going to avoid saying names about the communities, about the people involved, about even the scammer's name, because I know he's been getting doxxed. So I'm going to avoid all the names that I can, but I also want to say there's a couple different sides of this story, people saying different things, but I'm just going to give you the general story of what I've heard. And yeah, just keep that in mind. This is people saying what they've heard, what they've seen. So this isn't concrete fact, but this is the general idea. Basically, a couple months ago, there's a song called Murdergram going around, and there's a group by to leak it. Well, before it was officially leaked, because it is now, there was a dude that scammed people, basically. He set up a group by, got people to donate, but the whole thing was a scam. And yeah, it's important to know that backstory, because it's the same guy that set that scam up. That was a couple months ago as well. And I know I say this in, like, every video, but leaks are bad. Don't buy group buys. Don't go searching for leaks. It just ruins it for the artist. They don't want the song out. Then the fan base doesn't get the song that the artist wants out. Just less music comes out. Don't look for leaks, don't buy group buys. With that out of the way, let's go through some of these Discord messages. Now the story really starts a couple days ago. I checked my Discord, usually has around 350 people in it, and it had like 680. So a couple hundred people all joined at once, and I just saw a lot of activity, which seemed a little odd. Well, it turns out there was a leak that was posted, and someone put my invite link in the description or in the comment somewhere. So I started scrolling up really far to see where it all started at. And it turns out the dude that posted the Murdergram scam was in the server, and he was trying to get money from people. So the scammer's alt account is Michael Mathers. You're going to see him a lot in these messages. But he starts by saying, Okay, I got two more tracks from Relapse 2, but I'm willing to sell snippets for 150 bucks." You can see with the reaction, a little confused. And then you see, do you have the names of the tracks? Then this other guy comes in. Remember the profile picture? He's trusted. So he's one of the bigger names in the Eminem community, basically. So he has a lot more validity to what he's saying. He replies and says, oh, look, it's the scammer. Ban him. And he tags me. Then the scammer says no. Then the scammer responds with the alleged track names. You see Shady Groove Street in plain white. Then T, I'm just going to call him T for this video, came through and says he was the one who was trying to set up the group buy for Murdergram. And it turned out to be a huge scam because this guy had no higher ups at all. And he admitting to scamming in the Shady Forum. Obviously, the scammer plays dumb in the response. T says, ignore him. And then the scammer comes back and says, are you crazy? Only real interested people should DM me. Cash app only. So he really thought this would work and he had his cash app ready. Then T says he's only doing cash app because he's blocked from PayPal, which is honestly kind of ironic if that's true. And then, yeah, T comes right back through here. I'm the owner of the biggest Eminem server. This guy's not to be trusted at all. Then even though he just played dumb a couple minutes ago, he says, you deserved it. So that's basically admitting to it. The reply says cap and then he says peace out so he's leaving the conversation surely he's leaving the conversation right well then he comes right back and says i just made eminem revenge against the leakers and you all fall for it so he peaced out for a total of one minute then when t says you know you didn't get a single cent the guy doesn't deny it again he says at least three people got refunded but i still managed to get 409 bucks so it was a win-win situation then once t calls him out the scammer comes back and says i hope you have a great day wrapping up the conversation again then the conversation picks right back up they were talking about the scammer being banned from paypal and he says 180 days just google it by yourself regarding the fake leak Michael says I sent that image when I read back through this that doesn't really make sense I think he unsent something but yeah he just said I sent that image T said forget about him he's trying to lie to himself he got money when he got nothing now I can't confirm that or deny that I know on PayPal there is like a partial refund method thing so maybe he did that maybe he didn't the scammer doubles down and said he had time to transfer all the money before he asked people for a refund and he says this is my revenge eminem forever f you all don't hurt the artist so he basically says he's stealing people's money for the greater good of the artist to protect the work even though the song still got leaked i don't know that doesn't really make sense to me then he picks the conversation right back up even though he said bye like nine times now he says okay you guys bought a song that was never meant to be i don't know why he breaks these messages up you guys bought a song that was never meant to be heard you guys are the scums the song still leaked you know idiot of course and you still try to scam good luck what are you gonna do kidnap my yeah see the conversation just like spirals from here i had to cut a couple messages out because the language got a little interesting for youtube but it's still in my server if you want to read it you can then it just keeps spiraling like why would i kidnap over discord like doesn't even make sense then he says you guys are a bunch of internet nerds which i mean i kind of am look what i'm doing right now and he can't resist to join the conversation again next time you guys try me at least check my real id basically he got doxxed his full name a picture of him a lot of information got sent so his payback is to spam this link which i believe must be an ip grabber it must be something 
pulls your information in some way, trying to get payback. Someone else joins the conversation, basically clowning on him. I mean, look how many times he sent that link. So yeah, that was where it started for me. I checked my Discord one day and saw all those messages, knew something was up. But then we got an announcement in the bigger M&M server that's much bigger than mine. They basically said, don't discuss the leaks. They didn't want to talk about it. They're not affiliated with the leaks. They don't support leaking either. They don't want people to pay for the leaks. That should be something we all agree on. Leaks don't help anybody. But yeah, those were the messages in my server. This next part was something that someone sent me. It was supposed to be the full story. This is typed by a different person. I'm not going to say the name, but it's, this is a hard situation because I can't say the names. So I don't know exactly what parts are real. People are saying different things, but I'm going to read through what he typed out. Once again, this is not confirmed. This is his point of view. Get your popcorn ready. He says, Earlier this year, a seller replied to someone's email to see if he was interested in selling stems or leaks. The seller eventually replied a little while later, saying he was willing and set some ground rules. He wanted to do some small buys first to establish trust. He was given access to the trusted chat in a group buy server and began to get various information and details from the seller. He ended up setting up a private buy for the 2006 version of Careful What You Wish For. That's one of the big leaks that's been kind of trending lately. I attempted to guide him through this process as best as I could, as I was aware he has severe depression, autism, and was also recovering from a brain tumor. The money for the group buy was gathered very fast, and despite some billing related delays, we sent the funds and acquired the full song with stems. This song was always supposed to be vaulted as per our agreement with the seller. So they got the leak. Then he says, Through our continued contact, the seller disclosed a lot of information to us about Eminem's music and life, some of which was leaked by those in the group buy chat and will remain vaulted for a while out of respect for the seller. Eventually, we agreed to our next buy and it would be the original version of Discombobulated from 2009. It was called Back and Forth. $2,000 was the original price proposed by the seller. It took much longer, but we eventually gathered the necessary funds for this buy as well. Someone in the group chat was appointed to handle the donations and convert the funds into crypto. Delays were caused from PayPal withholding the money from the bank, and once they explained it, that's when things started to go south. The seller was patient until the delay surpassed three days, and it was at this point he seemingly started to consider larger offers from other people. He told us initially that we should stand by and not send anything as he's trying to see who's serious. At this point, they were afraid they were going to lose the seller, so they basically told him, be careful because other people could scam you. Then the seller replied and said he would likely still honor the deal for the song as long as they sent the money. As a group, they decided that they wouldn't contact him again unless they had the funds. And the first major misfire was when he sent a message warning the seller about the danger of shady employees seeing his activity on shady which is an m&m forum online at this point the group thought it was over because it was unintentionally phrased like a threat basically threatening him that he'd get in trouble for posting this but the seller took it the right way tightened his security and he sent what seemed to be a bulk email to all of his contacts saying he'd no longer be giving out anything for free and people would have to pay him bitcoin for anything further and an additional email to the group saying that he would honor our agreement with back and forth, the song name. A few days passed and nothing happened on the billing side, so the group contacted PayPal and got no luck. They were trying to create a ticket to see where the funds were. But the seller understood this. They sent screenshots, they explained it all, and the seller even said you could use Cash App or Venmo. Now this stood out to them because before that, he said he wanted to use Bitcoin just to remain anonymous. So that's what they planned for. But they were still cheerful and they thought this idea would be easier. He says, now we just needed to wait for the money to clear. Just after he switched from email to instant chat, that's when the seller informed us yet again that the deal might change as someone offered to buy him out and thought it was a deal that no one could beat. So the seller's kind of playing hard to get at this point. The main guy in the group asks to see the deal, basically so that he can know if he can compete with it at all, and then ended up saying he could put up to $400,000 into it. Now this was a lie and the group didn't agree with the idea of sending that out. And then this is where it gets really weird. Some of the statements he made were lost due to deletion. So deleting the messages makes the whole chat hard to interpret because they don't know exactly what's going on. But the bottom line was the seller was flip-flopping back and forth and this was making them all mad. At this point, they gathered $2,000 of the group's money and they were worried about refunding it because they didn't know with how much he was jumping back and forth about Bitcoin and then he says cash app. They didn't know if the deal would come back, but when they tried to bring that up, it offended the seller and he didn't take kindly to it and said they were being impatient and rude. In this kind of transaction, you don't want to get on the seller's bad side because he has all the power. He can just up the price at any moment. The person that typed this out said he understood why the seller was impatient because the leader of this group was spamming messages and then like we talked about deleting them so it was all confusing but at the end of the day the person that typed this out says he stands on the fact that they were never rude to the seller they took great care making sure every message was sent and crafted carefully to not upset him they knew he had the high ground and looked up to him 
but at this point they were just upset i mean they put hours and hours into this whole process and they've have nothing to show for it and then at this point the leader of this group just snapped he basically joined the server and started spamming it giving out fake leaks giving out a fake docs to the person and just spamming the careful what you wish for leak that we talked about a little bit earlier this is where the whole deal just died out like they burnt the bridge with the seller those people that burnt the bridge and basically failed the group by have been getting a lot of hate people attempting to dox just really rude messages and while yes it didn't end very well they didn't get the song that they wanted you don't need to go attack them i mean the whole thing's a leak anyway this is such a gray area this is such like a shady literally shady situation so yeah that's where this whole thing ends that's why you see so many like hostile people in the eminem community right now it's not just my server it's not just the other server it's just in a bad state right now so i wanted to make this update video to explain what happened this is as far as I know, like I said, there's other people saying other things, but this is like the general story of what happened. And yeah, if you have anything to add, put it down below. Please don't go for leaks. Please don't try and buy leaks. Don't try and do any of that. But yeah, if you want more Eminem and music videos, make sure to subscribe down below. Click right up here. I have a card of more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.